All right, peace, y'all. Peace. How y'all doing, man? I'm here with a with a powerful brother. Uh, what's your name again, sir? Lionel Van Dyne. Lionel Van Dyne. I see you got on a veteran hat, man. You got on a veteran hat. Uh, what's that? What branch you been in? The Army. Okay, the Army. But I didn't come... Career at the age of 17. Okay, and you are how old today? 85. You are 85. Something that was very interesting that you said to me um, when the, the last time I was here to see my grandmother, and we talked a, a little bit about the Native American Indians. And when you told me you was a Native American, it Cherokee really... Indian. Hold up, say that again. Cherokee Indian. Cherokee Indian. When did Born you raised. when did you learn you was a Cherokee Indian? My mother. With my mother at three years old. Oh, so when you was three years old, your mother let you know? Yes. Have you ever been to um, some of the powwows that's out there? Yes, I have. Tell, what can you tell us about it? Powwows reunion of all the tribes, all the Cherokee Nation. We stick together like glue. We feed the nation of our people, and we take care of our people, and we never give up. Mm -hmm. I'll die an Indian, and that's it. I don't care what my complexion is, it doesn't matter. My kids are Indian, and I'm Indian. So are you telling me, sir, that you are not African? You don't have no African blood or I nothing? I don't have no Af I don't know what my daddy was. He raped my mother, I guess. He stole a piece from her because she was pretty. Oh, incidentally, my mother was very fair, almost white, blue veins, red hair. But she still was a Cherokee Indian. She had no white in her at all. She's part of the nation. She's so, dead. She lived to be 89. Grandmother lived to be 90. Grandfather lived to be 110. I'm 85, and I'm going to try and beat my grandfather and go 112 if I can. Beautiful. Um, you're going to definitely make it. What can you tell me about the um, relationship between the, the uh, Cherokee Indians and the African people? Hi. Thank you, darling. Uh, our, um, between the African... We have no qualms. I'll tell you this, and I like you young people to understand it. The Africans will always be the Africans. Mm -hmm. They've got their own country. They was born in Africa. Africa is their country. Mm -hmm. You're a Negro. What? The white man gave you that name, and that's what you are. The Africans have nothing to do with the Negroes in the United States. They walk away in a minute and say, I'm a doctor, I'm a lawyer, I'm whatever, and I'm African, mm -hmm. and I'm black. And I've got my own country. So that's it. I do not deny my relationship. I'll be an Indian until I die. So when you write in on your resume or when they say, what is your nationality, what do you say? Cherokee Indian. I've lost some good jobs. I went to, a, I'll tell you a secret. I went to apply for a porter job that's sweeping the streets of Rockefeller Center, which everybody knows Rockefeller Center has got all kind of little things on the sidewalk. I was going there to sweep the street to get a job. My name is Van Dyne. The reason why my name is Van Dyne, because my grandfather... Work for the Dutch.